Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining about SIG child signal, signal child signal and the weight PID API. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. And please don't forget to like the video and please don't forget to share the video with your friends. So let me begin the explanation of signal child signal that is sick child signal and the weight PID API. So when a child process terminates or stops, the kernel will generate a sick child signal to its parent process. So you know that uh, in Unix, the file system uh, is hierarchical. Hierarchical means the files will be arranged in a parent and child relationship. So when a child process terminates or stops, it should notify the parent that it is going to stop or it's going to terminate. How it is going to communicate that with the parent? A child process is going to communicate with the parent process by sending a sick child signal. So when a parent receives the sick child signal, it should assume that my child process is going to stop or terminate. And depending upon how the parent sets up signal handling of the sick child, different events may occur. That means when a parent receives a sick child signal, right, parent can take decision. Three different types of decision can be taken by a parent when it receives the sick child signal. Now we will see the different cases. So when a parent accepts the sick child signal, the, in the first case, uh, parent may accept that signal and it may right, uh, activate the default action. So what, what is the default action here? So you can see there the sick child signal does not terminate the parent process. Default action means uh, the, the right, parent process will not be deleted. So the parent process is, will be still, it will be there even after receiving the sick child signal, right? Uh, when it affects means it affects only when the parent process, it, if, it, if it, it affects only the parent process, if it arrives at the same time the parent process is suspended by the weight PID system call. But it, it, in this case, it, it, it is not going to happen, right? In this case, the parent process is awakened. The parent process won't be deleted the parent process will be notified. The API will return child's exit status and process ID to the parent. Right? Getting guys? In this case, what happens means parent will not be deleted. Parent process is going to be notified. The API is going to return the child exit status and also the process ID to the parent. Right? Also along with that, the kernel will clear up the process table slot allocated for the child process. Getting guys, without um, deallocating the process table slot, uh, the parent won't be deleted here. The parent will be notified first, then the exit status will be returned to the parent that uh, parent will come to know that uh, my child is uh, exiting, right? So after that, uh, whatever the resources that is held by the child, that resources needs to be cleared, right? And the, all, the, uh, all the resources, all the process table slots will be, uh, right, cleared, right? Thus, with this setup, a parent process can call wait PID API repeatedly to wait for the each child it created. So, you can uh, call the wait PID API to wait, right? Ch uh, you have to tell the child to wait until every resources is cleared then only it can right exit or then only it can terminate that's why i have to use wait pid api i have to wait child has to wait until the parent finishes its process right after that only the child can terminate this is the first case what is the second case parent ignores the sick child signal it is not going to take any default action. It's not going to wait. Just it's going to ignore the signal. You can see here the sick child signal will be discarded and the parent will not be disturbed. 
so uh, i'm not going to notify anything to the parent i'm not going to disturb the parent even if it is executing the wait pid system call i'm not going to bother now right the effect of this setup is that if the parent calls wait pid api the api will suspend the parent until all its child process have terminated right it will suspend the parent until all the child process have terminated furthermore the child process table slots will be cleared by the kernel and the api will return minus 1 value to the parent process getting guys in the second case in simple words parent is not going to take any action here the signal will be discarded and the parent will not be disturbed even if it's executing the wait pid system call also i'm not going to disturb the parent getting guys right what is the third case process catches the sick child signal so it will catch the signal what is the meaning of it the signal enter function will be called in the parent whenever the child process terminates whenever the child process terminates the signal enter function will be called in the parent process furthermore if a signal child signal arrives while the parent process is executing the wait pid system call why it is going to execute a wait pid system call because it has to clear everything before the child terminates that's why after the signal enter returns the wait pid api may be restarted to collect the child exit status if the child uh, uh, sick child signal arrives while the parent is process is still executing parent process is busy in executing something right uh, busy in executing the wait pid system call right so the wait pid api may be restarted to collect the child exit status and clear its process table slot because it is busy in executing the wait pid system call that's why it has to wait right getting guys on the other hand the api may be aborted and the child process table slot not freed depending upon the parent setup of the signal getting guys in this case uh, maybe the api may be aborted and the child process table slot not freed also it may happen in the third case getting guys when the pro because parent process is executing the wait pid system call still at that time it receives the uh, sick child signal so right uh, api may be aborted and the child process table slot may not be freed this is also the case but in simple words right uh, in the first case parent accepts the action of the sick child signal in the second case it will ignore it in the third case it will catch that signal right so these are the three different cases that may that can happen right when the parent receives a sick child signal suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section right thank you thank you for watching the video